Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Wanted to bring another update to you. Uh, one, I want to start off with sharing in just a few minutes here the video footage that we have with Roddy Brown. Just amazing, amazing footage here. Uh, as he shared, as he mentions there, rockets like he had never seen before. He said Hezbollah has never fired rockets like this into Israel. And I've been on the phone before with Roddy when Hezbollah was firing rockets into Jerusalem. And uh, we were talking about that. Uh, it's been a while back now, more than a year ago. But he said this is completely different. Not only that, though, uh, a video I shared earlier, there was some question as to whether or not the video uh, was really of, uh, I guess, a current video. It has, from what we can see, there are confirmations that Iran has used uh, the hypersonic missiles, seven of those, which hit Israel's air base there where the F-35s are housed there. Also, too, this video here, Are the Deaf Angels Sent by God to Warn Israel? That's on our Patreon channel. I'm sure you'll want to see that. It's a very, a very interesting uh, video there, and I think you'll find it uh, uh, interesting if you get a chance to watch that there. And, uh, oh, goodness, that's actually supposed to be on Unlisted there. So let me put that back into there because that's on our Patreon channel. I hope you uh, like that video there. Uh, anyway, let's move on, though, to the to what we have going on right now. And uh, that is, uh, oh, gosh, here we go. Come on, get over here, Steve, here. Uh, according to the, uh, Scott Ritter, he says that uh, Iran struck Navatim Air Base with l at least seven of its new hypersonic missiles. Nevatim is home of the F-35 fighters that attacked the Iranian consulate in Damascus. Not a single Iranian missile was intercepted. Let that sink in Israel. In Israel is defenseless, especially with those type of weapons there. That comes from Scott Ritter, former CIA uh, uh, guy that uh, really has some very interesting information. Also told you that we're going to be using some type of uh, space type technology. Israel is using that. This particular video here that was sent to me by, uh, oh gosh, I forget the girl's name there. I'll pull that up in just a minute. There you have it there. Again, you can see it. Boom, there it goes. That is some very interesting technology for interception there. Uh, and that was sent to me by, oh goodness, um, Tamara. Thank you, Tamara, for sending that. Uh, over to me as well. I appreciate that. The Syrian girl, though, does show these hypersonic missiles as they are hitting that base there. Let me play that for you. There you go, coming in. There's one. Um, there's two. And then three. And then there's going to be a fourth one. And that's the only what we see there that Iran does to the air base there in Israel. There are four missiles coming in, striking uh, those areas there. When they zoom in, you'll be able to see the smoke rising up as well from hitting their targets there. Uh, those are some very powerful weapons there. And uh, Iran has already sent a message in to the, United, uh, to the uh, Security Council that it had every right to defend itself after its consulate office was attacked or general was killed. Uh, you know, consulate office next to the Iranian embassy in Damascus. And uh, so therefore, they said they will not further escalate so long as Israel does not escalate the situation. Uh, but as we have seen already tonight, so many missiles that had came in, and I think it's really going to have more to do with uh, how... Um, uh, how this has affected the Israeli people, because unfortunately, Netanyahu still has the idea, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, and he's really not going to let that go. Uh, let's jump over here, though, to this video footage that was shared with us by Roddy Brown and his comments that he made earlier that I shared with you on the broadcast. <laughs> All right, we got a lot of rockets and a lot of lights, real rockets. This is not like uh, Hezbollah. I don't know if y'all can see that in the sky or not. We're getting hit pretty heavy in Jerusalem. I had no idea they could do this. Um, I'm on, it's, uh, I think it's on YouTube. So uh, Sheila and I, we'll head to Christchurch later on. They're hitting By the us way, heavy. Those look like they're actually hitting their target. I don't know if you noticed that, though, right back here. Let me see here. There it is, right there. Way down here in the bottom right-hand part of your screen there, those some of those rockets look like they're making contact, not being taken out by the Iron Dome. Uh, so do pray for Roddy and Sheila Brown. Uh, 
appreciate them so much. And uh, they're, they're a Christian family uh, living in Jerusalem, been there for many, many years there. And so I ask that you pray for them as well as Simon Tov. And I got messages from both of them tonight. They are safe as of now. Uh, so um, keep them in your prayers. I certainly would ask you to do that. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you for subscribing to our Patreon channel as well, patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. Some of you got to see that little peek of that video that I loaded there. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, it's an interesting thought. Hope you enjoy it there. Got more to share this uh, later, uh, probably Monday or so there. We'll be traveling back uh, this weekend. So keep us in your prayers as well. And also Brock, a good brother, a friend of ours as well, Brock Knight. He's traveling back up to uh, Georgia tonight himself. He was here with us today. God bless you and good evening.